Hello YouTube, BigRedMC716 here, and welcome to part 2 of my Donkey Kong Country playthrough. We are now in Winky's Walkway, where we get introduced to Winky the Frog. Yeah. Now people complain about this animal because, at least its name, because it doesn't make really make any sense. Like, why is it called Winky? But honestly, when I was a kid, I managed to look past that. Like, I, I managed to accept it. It's like, okay, it's Winky. I mean, shit. Whatever. But yeah, Winky here can jump on pretty much anything. Oh, I'll get back to... Okay, I'll get back to Winky. Well, seeing as I've gotten uh, three Espresso tokens, we're in, I'm going to go to the Espresso bonus stage. And yep, you've se you're seeing correctly. There's a secret area behind the entrance. And I'll see, this is a problem I addressed before. Look at that timer. You notice something about it? It's going down a lot slower than it did in the Rambi stage, which is just fucked up. I don't get that. Like, that's pretty much the speed it goes in on guards and Winkies bonus stages, too. Spoilers. I mean, it, the timer only goes down that fast in Rambi stage, which is confusing to me. Maybe it's because Rambi stage is smaller? Maybe it's because Rambi runs the fastest? Then again, I don't know if that's true or not. But still, I don't get it. If anyone out there knows, feel free to tell me. So yeah. For every hundred icons here, you get an extra life, which means I got five lives off of that. That was a good day. Oh yeah, back, back to what I was saying about Winky. But yeah, Winky can jump on pretty much anything. And I do mean anything. Even the zingers here. Watch. See? So yeah, Winky is pretty awesome. And Winky can jump very high. But unfortunately, you can't take Winky with us. On to the next level. Minecart Carnage. Uh, if you're wondering what I did there, uh, there's actually a warp point that I wanted to show off that's down there. But that time I figured I'm I'm not gonna waste all my lives trying to do it, so I'll only try it once. So on with the level. But yeah, there's a warp there that takes you pretty much to the end of the level. If you can figure out where to jump, where to land, basically. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my lives on all that. And, I've gotten three On Guard tokens. Off we go to the On Guard bonus stage. And holy shit, what are we swimming in? Oh my god, On Guard's a murderer. We're swimming in the blood of his victims, holy shit. In a Pac-Man-esque setting as well. Good lord. On Guard must really love his classic games. So yeah, there's pretty much secret areas with numbers in to the left, right, and up of on of where you start out. The special times two bonus thing is that it you can find that if you go down like I'm doing here. Alright, so for the rest of the time, you just pretty much swim around trying to click these tokens Pac-Man style. Gotta admit, I love this bonus theme. In fact, the entire soundtrack of this game is just amazing. In fact, this game is amazing, man. I don't care what anyone says, this game is awesome. Yeah, but yeah, unfortunately because of that, I'm all the way back at the beginning. Luckily all the bananas are back so I can get extra life. There we go. And yeah. Minecart level. Just jump at the right time. Unfortunately all the letters are gone. And I died. But at least now I can go back in the level and, uh, get the Kong letters. 
Waters for that, once again, an extra life. Man, it is so easy to get lives in this game. Collect 100 bananas, which are which there's plenty of, and they're scattered all across the level. Get four Kong lighters for an extra life. Like extra life balloons. Red equals one, green equals blue, two. Green equals two, excuse me. Blue equals three. You know? Like, you can come up, you can get a fuck ton of lives in this game. And now we come over, come to the knocked over minecarts. As you saw there, you if you crash into one of them, you take a hit. Oh, come on! I can't jump on the damn Kremlings barreling through there in minecarts. That is some bullshit. Especially when you consider that spoilers. There's a level later in the game where you jump out of the minecart when you jump, and you can actually jump on the Kremlings that are in the, those minecarts. As I was saying, though, uh, that balloon back there, like, I could never, I could literally never get that when I was a kid. Never. It was, like, impossible. Like... I had a similar problem with that G back there, too, but I could occasionally get that, but but the balloon, no. I could never, for the life of me, get that balloon. Oh, oh come on. Good thing we got a midpoint. Oh, and you know what? Speaking of which, um... I don't know if it was like if like Donkey Kong Country 3 started this trend or if, if it's always been in the series, but with Donkey Kong Country 3, they had a habit of always like in pretty much every level putting a DK barrel after the midway point, like immediately after the midway point. Like I don't know if it I don't remember if it was the case in this game or in 2, I don't remember that being the case. But I, I really did notice it in 3. Guess I'll have to look closer at this game to see. But we are at the end of Minecart Carnage. And on that note, we move on to Bouncy Bonanza. And yes, I'm sure you've noticed by now, on the, on the Hub World screen, if you've beaten a level the icon will be the Kong that was in the front when you beat the level, or the Kong that you're controlling. Of course, like I said, and like I said back in part one, for the majority of this game, I'm going to be controlling Diddy because he is the better character. Runs faster, jumps higher, jumps better, pretty much. Got the cartwheel, which is awesome. Unfortunately, he can't take a hit from a bee. Or, excuse me, zinger. Whoops! Now I can't get now I can't get to that midway barrel unless I can get to, unless I can get a tire to respawn, which I cannot. Damn. So yeah, this is my only option now. Go up here and hidden secret wall that's not even there. Is it in my imagination? Whatever. Got Diddy back, so let's go. And another extra life go into this cave and we find Winky once again. And down we go. Yeah, this this world's pretty much all about Winky. I guess to show off how good Winky is. I mean again, I don't hate Winky, it's just a lot of people seem to for some reason. I don't get it. I, I mean, I have no problem handling Winky here. God, that sounded wrong. But anyway, yeah. And we get to a bonus barrel with Winky. With a whole bunch of tires. Boinky, 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 boinky. Back in the barrel? Yes. Let's go. 
And there's the exit. Alright, on to the stop and go station. First, check this out. Yes, you go back into the entrance where you came from, and it launches you to almost the end of the level. Only thing you gotta do now is survive this onslaught of enemies, and you're at the end. But here's how to do it the right way. Yeah, you didn't think I was just gonna take the cheap way out, did you? And not show you the level, but yeah. Not show you the level. Yeah. I'm a legit gamer. I play my games legitimately. I don't take shortcuts, damn it. But yeah, anyway, about this level. Pretty much these stop and go barrels you have to touch. When you touch them, it initiates stop. These enemies here on the ground called rock crocs. When you touch the stop and go barrel, they stop, of course. But there's a time limit to them. And it will initiate go again. And like you just saw there, they will run around and try to kill you. Oh, and by the way, these rock crocs cannot be killed. At least to my knowledge. They can't be killed by anything. So, the only way to... The only way to stop them, pretty much, is to touch the stop and go barrel. To get them to crouch down. Fortunately, their hitboxes don't activate unless they're running. That was bullshit right there, by the way. But yeah, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Stop and Go Station. And now we go up back up to Candy's save point. Got anything worth saving? Not really, but I'm gonna save anyway. 20% in 20 minutes. Let's go. As we move on to Millstone Mayhem. Now this level actually introduces a new enemy type. First, I guess we're going to take this bonus up here. And I choose Diddy over a banana bunch and a K. Because yeah, as I was saying, this guy. This level introduces this guy named Crusher. That Donkey Kong can jump on, but Diddy cannot. The only other way to stop Crusher is to throw a barrel at it, if you don't have Donkey Kong anymore. seem to have naughties in logs? What are these? Alright, but here we go. With another bonus. This, if you could, bonus, if you can tell, you have to touch the letters R-A-R-E to spell rare in that order. And you get a token out of it. Those purple crockheads, though, I believe, I believe they speed up the wheel if you touch one of them, making it harder to touch the letters. And I think there's a bonus right there, too. Which I do not go back and get, because I want to complete the level. And we got Slippa. Speaking of slipping. Oh, well, at least I hit the midway point. Yeah, blow Slippa up. What the fuck? Motherfucker. I blow Slippas up, bitch. You, you, you guys are good. I'm just gonna jump on you. But I can't jump on that thing, though. Oh, get away, get away, get away. See what I mean? Winky once again. Ladies and gentlemen. On. Yes, I am on Winky right now. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, that one was... throwing nuts at you. God, this commentary is getting more perverted by the minute, isn't it? See what I mean? Ong. Yeah, that vulture before, that vulture there, I don't know if I mentioned this part one, but it's called Neki. And we're going to fight a huge, a huge version of it as the boss for this level. Or for this world, I should say. Speaking of which, we're moving on to that boss right now. Neki's Nuts. Really, game? Can you stop being perverted, please? Yeah, and yeah, I know you're going to say, yeah, you're the one that brought it up. Well, I wouldn't have to bring it up, but the game didn't make me. But yeah, Neki here spits out nuts at you one by one. You gotta hit it five times, then it's dead. Unfortunately, whoops. 
Unfortunately, you can't hit it until it spits out the nut. Here we go, once again. How the hell do it? I see, see what I mean? You can't, you can't jump on it until it spits the nut. As I was saying, how did it, how do its eyebrows like come out of its head? Look at that. Jesus Christ. And Master Neki, yes, that is its name, has been defeated. All right. In the next part, we're going to move on to Vine Valley and the level Vulture Culture. I'm going to go there in part three. See you then.